Okay, so I'm going to show you how to make a pinch pot. So I've got some clay and I need to first roll it into a little ball. What I need to be mindful of is the size of this ball marrying up to the size of my base. I've got a rectangular base, but a cylindrical base actually is probably easier for your, uh, your pinch pot. So I've got my ball and we'll see in a moment if this is the right amount of clay. But to make the pinch pot, you roll into a ball, you pinch with your fingers, that's where it gets its name, and I'm twisting it around as I go, making a bowl shape, okay? Now, the thickness of this should be about a centimetre, or for me, about my index finger. For some of you, it'll be your pinky. For some of you, it'll be your thumb, depending on the size of your hands. And what I need to do is I need to mould this into a shape that's going to fit on top of my base. I'm just going to unwrap this. This is just the spare one that we have. Okay, so it needs to fit on top of my base. So at the moment, this is just bigger and I can look here and see that some of the sides are a little bit too thick, but that's okay. It's, it's better to have them a little bit too thick than too thin. So what I need to do now is I need to scratch up the sides with my tool to make to do that cross hatching that we've spoken about already. So scratch the whole way around. And the whole way around my pinch pot. I need to get my water wet both sides and place that on top as best I can. And then I'll end up with something that looks like that and I need to smooth it out. Okay. Now, Obviously, out on the outside, that might look smooth, but I also need to get it smooth on the inside as well. So that's where my tool can come quite in handy. Now, the other thing that's important for you to know is that you do not add a base onto this. So this shape here is what you start with. Okay, you don't put, you don't cover this over because then it's just one giant air bubble and it will explode in the kiln. Well, yeah. So I've got that done. Now what I need to do is reach in with my tool and smooth out the inside as well, as best as I can. And that is my pinch pot. The other thing it's, that's good to do at this stage is just to put your initials and check all of your sides, but put your initials. So I am a W. So put your initials, engrave it into the bottom so that we don't lose track of who they belong to. We shouldn't because your name's written on your cling wrap, but that's a nice way to do it as well in case someone pinches yours. So, and that's the side of my shape. 